Who does their own music here? You do. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Men's Room Live. I'm your host, Mark Sparks. This here is my boy, Jackson. Jackson, say what's up. And we have the one and only Ronnie Rowe to my left. Ronnie, give him a, yo, give him a what's up. I just, I, I just gave the salute, gentlemen, oh, my fault, my ladies. www.mensroom.tv. They probably there already, but just in case they're not, just in case they forgot where they are watching the show, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. where you're at. www.mensroom.tv. Make sure you send your questions and comments to live at mensroom.tv. We like to read what you have to say. Also, you can comment underneath this video down there. Um, stop it. No, Jackson, get him. Show him. Show him. So what's going on, man? How you doing? How's that Twitter account coming along? At Ronnie Rowe Jr. It's good. Good. A lot of exciting things to follow. You know, um, I'm an exciting guy. You, it's true you are. Uh, did you get any more Facebook followers from the show? Oh, oh. Uh, um, I, I haven't been able to check. I've been a little busy, but I will. I will. I'll do that I've today. been a little busy? What have you been busy with, brother? Yeah, you know, you're reading, you know, uh, working out, you know, trying to get the bod. And Jack, you know. Did you say the bud? Yeah, the, yeah. Yo, that's straight from like '91. I know. Wow. Go, I like it. your shirt. I have to say, you? the purple is probably my favorite. I have, yeah, I got the, the plaid, the whole plaid thing going on right now. <laughs> you know, so. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. No biting the person. You're supposed to bite the bone. He's really looking for his bone right now. I'm sorry. He was biting his. Like you bite my style with the plaid shirt, so that's why I have to go solid. I, I haven't seen you wear a plaid shirt. Yeah, yet. it's because I see you wearing them. So who was biting you? <laughs> You, because that's why I don't wear them anymore. Right. Viewers, that's the Pursuer Retreat is right. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so today's uh, guest we have, <laughs> that was the worst big laugh ever. <laughs> uh, today's guest is, <laughs> he's hilarious right now. He's having fun. Today's guest is Jackson. Jackson's going to teach us a few things about being sincere and being real. Right, Jackson? What do you, what do you have to say to them? I hope he pees on you. <laughs> hey, girls <laughs> like that. That's, that's a position right there. You might do something. Pee? Yeah, might just... <laughs> now, today's guest is going to be Jordan. There he goes, and he's out. All right. Can't so Jordan's coming through today, and Jordan's actually going to, he's going to talk to us about how to uh, talk to women with charm and, and humor. He's a very funny cat. He's yeah, he's a, a, a thespian uh, of the highest regard. Oh, no comment on the word thespian? Hey, it, what? No. Because, you know, you usually take a shot at those. I things. don't usually do anything. Um, I want to also highlight that uh, you won the Pursuer Retreat last week. Like, not that it's about winning and losing, but, but uh, you were the guy. How'd you, how did you, how did you do it again? You talked about Dragon Toe, that's right. That's it. That's it. you got to make those plugs, the little plugs. Yes. Yeah. Um, what about today's Pursuer Retreat? What's, 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 uh, what's on the, the docket? Uh, let's see what we got here. I'd give you some drum roll, but I lost, so I'm, I'm reeling right now. You're bitter? No, never bitter. I'm working. Ah, oh, pursue a retreat. Okay. Do you sleep with your friend's ex-girlfriend? Dun, dun, dun. I feel like, since you won, I'll let you go. What do you have? Do you sleep with your, do you sleep with my ex-girlfriend? Retreat. Why? Uh, the morals behind it. Um, it doesn't matter the duration. If you're my friend, I, I, I'm just not going to go there. You know yeah. what? Yeah. You, uh, you had a connection with this girl, right? And th there's more than enough lovely females out there to, to pass that one. Millions. So, uh, yeah, I, I definitely have to retreat, especially if it's my friend. You can't do it. No, this, no, no, no. This is the one time where we're going to definitely agree, and I can't, even find the, the, I can't even find any moral ground to stand on. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about re pursuing that. Uh, once a friend has dated somebody, I think it's an impossibility for you to have to sleep with them, you That's, know, just for the sake of sleeping with them. And, and, and if you do, you're, you're not really a friend. Well, your friendship is being called into question, without a doubt. Now, here's the thing. What if your friend just slept with someone or maybe dated them casually? Mm -hmm. And I say, you know, casually a couple times, nothing serious. And then, you know, it didn't work between the two of them. Three dates, you're like, yeah. And home, homegirl's feeling you. Do you, I say not just sleep with her, do you date her? Let's make this a little broader. I think that's a little harder. That's a little bit more gray area. Uh, it's still, I, I'm still going to be on the fence with that one because initially she, she went after you and then she came to me. So already I'm kind of like... Mm. No, she didn't. She, she met him somewhere else. 
All right. So let's say there's no sake of you first, you second. But she met him. They went out one, two times. It didn't work. You met you you met her separately. Didn't even know that they dated. I'm gonna make this real. You didn't know they dated. You right. find out you you know you get her number. You have a picture on your phone with the number. Yeah, boy, you're like, yo, check what I, you know, this girl. Like, after after the fact, so after, So you like got her date? number, and then you go to, yo, Ryan, look who I, yo, this girl, beautiful. And I show you the picture, and you're like, yo, that's the girl I told you I was dating two months ago. <coughs> All right. Now, with that said, it, there has to be a conversation between the two friends, okay. I feel. Um, there's going to be like, like, so how serious was it? Like, what happened? And then from that, I think you'll be able to decipher whether or not you can pursue or retreat that relationship with that young lady. Okay. I can't, you know, I today I'm going to have to say that that I think we're both in the depending bucket. <laughs> Yo, that sucks. Yeah, yeah. It, but it, it really is one of those That's things. one that's one of the very few where I'd have to say yeah, cuz there's different cir- circumstances. Guys, let us know live at mensroom.tv or you can hit us up right underneath here on the uh, comments box. Yep. So yeah, I think, oh, I, I think, think I missed the buzzer. I think there was a buzzer there. I think Dang. I heard something. Yo, that's dock my paycheck again. Rant of the week. So we both work with people on a development capacity, uh, one-on-one in groups, etc., where we look to help people become uh, best versions of themselves through different uh, tools and through different uh, you know ways. Um, exercise, not just physically, but mentally and uh, spiritual nature. Mm-hmm. Um, I am getting tired of dealing with people who are information junkies you know what I mean and it's like they want to learn everything about something but they don't want to make any change of anything in their regarding their life Mm -hmm. you know what I mean I was just talking to this one of my guys and you know he was like well you know I got to change my diet how I'm eating um, because I'm putting on a lot of weight and da 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 you know there's some basic things you can do and I was like, well, you know, you need to cut out things like chips and cookies for a little while. Just do that for 60 days. Cut out the beer for 60 days. Let's see what happens. And he was like, yeah, no, that's a good idea. But, you know, I should really get a, my doctrine in nutrition first. And then I should, you know, read about the polyquin stance on macronutrients in the body and the way that the body uh, assimilates them um, and how much vitamin D I should get during the daytime, during hours of 8 to 7 because, you know, I... And I was just like, where do you yeah. need all that information to do something? And it's just this whole mentality. I mean, you see it a lot in the pickup artist community. I think in the community, you see a lot of guys, you know, and I have been guilty of this on, on different occasions. A lot of guys want to learn everything before they put something into practice. Sure. You know, and it's just like, my rant is just do it. Just get into doing something. Get up and do it. Like, you've learned, okay, I want to approach anxiety is one of those things that guys always deal with and I want to be better at approaches and they learn every they learn how to anchor they learn this tool they learn that tool they learn the ring of power they learn they get all these tools but they never go out and use it but they know they could tell you how to oh how to overcome approach anxiety how many girls have you gone and talked to then how many people have you gone and spoke to none but I could tell you how to get rid of it mm. it's just like get out there and do it you know yeah. what I mean so that's my thing my rant of the week is stop just learning start putting things into practice action is way better than word yeah um, my rant is uh, not not so far off, but it it comes down to people that will give advice but not follow right. their own advice. Right. Uh, that is that one. It kills me. Mm-hmm. You know, they'll be like, "Oh yeah, you know, you should just go out there and not worry. Just just take the risk, and everything will be okay." And then after they tell you about a situation where they're afraid to take a, take a risk. Oh no no, I don't do that. I'm not taking a risk. And, and I'm like. Well, just like two weeks ago, you were telling me to jump off this building and now you won't do it? I'm like, so like, don't give that advice if you're not willing to take it yourself. You know, like that, that is my rant. I, like, you got to practice what you preach. Right. And there's somebody or it's individuals that, you know, are, are uplifters of, of individuals. Right. Like, like you, that. You, you have to, if you're going to say something, you got to do it. 100%. You know what I mean? If you're like, yeah, you know what? You want to do this? You got to eat well? Like... I'm telling you based on the fact that I, I know, this. right? You know what I mean, and mm-hmm. that it works. Mm-hmm. You know, but don't be giving advice and, and not following it. I just can't. I can't take that. that, that it kills me. Basically. Right? Yeah. No. I. It brings me. It reminds me of a story when I was in. Uh, when I was uh, playing, um, I remember running a route and not doing the route properly, mm-hmm. and uh, or not running the you know the play properly in practice. Mm-hmm. And I was supposed to cut left, and instead I kind of stopped and turned, and I should have cut left, and I was like, oh, whatever, to have speed practice, this was me in the first year. And I remember my coach yelling, um, 
Sparks, run the fucking play. Yeah. And, he, and he went and started yelling at me what the play was. And I turned to him, I said, I know the play. You just go, and he was like, if you don't do it, you don't know. So don't tell me, you, and you remember, you, just, you don't know if you don't do it. And that always stuck with me. And it's one of those things where you, if you, people always say, I know, I know, I know where I can do. And if you're not doing it, you don't know. Yeah. And that's kind of the way that we want to live our lives. Like, don't tell somebody if you ain't doing it, because if you ain't doing it, you don't know. That's, I agree. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, I can think of a few times that that's come into play. Info junkies. Well, bonus time. Um, a week ago, a week ago, I was, I was at the club. And uh, your, your girl let you go to the club? Sorry? Hmm? No, what, I didn't hear you. I said your girl let you go to the club? Yeah, yeah my girl let me go to the club. Okay. Yes. Right. You see how what I did there is I didn't even dignify that with like a real response. I just I let you have that one. Because I'll take it. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm a bigger man. Yeah, you are a little bit taller than I am. Yeah, that's true. So a week ago, I was at the club. And uh, I, I saw I saw a gentleman there, and he was talking to this girl, and he had her he had her on the bar stool, and and he he took off her shoes, and he was massaging her feet in the club, and I thought of you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but I thought, and I was like, I wonder, because they went back to the toe kiss. I was like, I wonder oh, if Ryan okay, massage you. the feet. I'm glad yeah. I'm glad you you cleared that up. No, no. So I was wondering, is that any better or worse than? Because I just I was, was kind of massaging taking, feet. Yeah, in the club. No, you can massage feet. There's nothing wrong. In a club. That's fine. Really? Hey, like that's cool. Like I'm just talking about. No, I just want to know because I thought it was going into my mouth. I uh, no, no. Dragon foot. Dragon foot. This is my hand. I wash my hands. That's cool. I I rub feet in the club. That's okay. Her feet are hurting. She's in here. She's trying to look nice for me. That's cool. I'll rub your feet. Okay. Well, I I thought you'd have a bigger problem. No, I wouldn't. Oh well, I just anyways. You don't know me. Apparently I don't. Taboo topic of the week. <laughs> you don't know me. What are you on, Maury Povich? <laughs> you don't know anything about me? <laughs> taboo talk of the week is going to be taboo topic of the week is sex toys. Okay. You didn't have that on your card? No, no. I, did. I, I don't know. Yeah, sometimes they switch it up on you. Oh, yeah, to, thanks, guys. Just to keep it, you know. We want to see, we want to see spontaneity here. Here I go. So, sex toys. Talk about it. Like, it, what, like... Am I down for sex toys? Are you down? How do you get them into the room? Like, you know, it's a big deal to some people. Like, um, do you just wait till it's dark and then just turn it on and hope you I, can... I think, I think sex toys are cool. You know, you, it keeps things interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, um, especially if you've been with somebody for a while, you, you got to find different ways to make, you keep it, keep it spicy. Right. You know, so I, I'm definitely, definitely a pro sex toy. Um, are you, would you be upset if your girl was using the sex toy? Without you? Um, they do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they do anyway. Dudes, yeah. Just you accept it, man. Yeah, you like, think your girl ain't... ain't it what is if, what if your girl starts using the toy and then she's too tired at night for you? Oh, well, obviously there's an issue there. Like, you gotta... What's the issue? That the toy is doing better. They're getting more than you are. That's, that's a problem. So how do you introduce it to, I mean, you know, if you're, like, we talked about different, you know, sex things. How would you introduce it to the relationship? How would you bring it up talk-wise? You just wrap it up in a nice wrapper, put a bow on it, and then hope she likes the gift? I would, no, no, no. I'd kind of make it an outing. Like, hey, you know, let's, let's, go, let's go to the mall and, you know, whatever. And then, you know, we'd be walking and, oh, my gosh, look at that. Uh, aren't we naughty? And then you just go up in there and, like, oh, <laughs> And you start making jokes about, oh, wouldn't you like if I whipped you with this or something like that? And the rest is... You make jokes about whipping? Why not, yo? I don't know. I'm just asking. Yeah. I never, I never experienced then, these things. And then you get the friendly giggle, and then that means, yes, I would, and then... Word? Yeah. Okay, so I had a, I had a client who um, <laughs> trained and, and trained him, and he one time, you know, we had dinner at his, his house, a couple people were there, and he was like... Hey, I want to show you guys, you know, my weight room. And so a couple of us went down to his weight room and he was just waits. We're like, cool, cool, cool. And he was like, hey, I want to show you guys, you know, my pool room. We're like, cool, cool. Went to the pool room. And then he was like, hey, let me show you guys this cool room I have. And went like up some stairs and then like behind this little panel. Sounds like a big house. Yeah, he had a very big house. And uh, went behind his little panel and he had, you know, the hooks on the wall, like the clamps so you could attach stuff to them. 
and then there was like chains and and he had so he had like a whole dungeon that wasn't in the basement though it was upstairs so how do you how would you go about introducing that to somebody the dungeon stuff yeah, yeah, yeah just uh, I don't know. I'm just wondering because I mean some people are into that you know what I mean so you said whip so I just kind of was like oh whip, yeah no, the maybe. whip but like the dungeon kind of like like chain up thing yeah or yeah or, or okay I'll take it up the, you tie somebody up in the bed or is um, it the same as the whip. Yeah, I, I think you still take a direct approach. Like you, right. like you still just be like, hey, you know what? Like, I'm just wondering if maybe we can, you know, give this a try and da, 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 and throw it out there. The worst thing she's gonna say is no. Then it means you're not doing what you already weren't doing. Touche. I'm personally for the sex toys. I totally agree with you. I think a lot of times we make it a bigger deal than, than we have to. And you know what I mean? It's just like one of those things where you're just like, yo, do you wanna do it or not? I love how you said using humor. Um, I remember one time in, in, in college, I was a, a girl that I was dating used a sex toy, but I, up until today, I don't know what she expected to happen. Cause we were, you know, we're in the bedroom and it's dark and, and then she was like, hold on a sec. And she came back to bed. <laughs> She's like, hold this. <laughs> it's like, whoa, wait, what's that? <laughs> and I remember I was in the room and I was like, I was all hyped cause she was, you know, and then I just heard, like it was dark and I, and I was like, <laughs> it's like I hear a beat. <laughs> and I remember I was like, you know, I mean, I'm young at these times. I didn't know what it was, and I heard it, and I was like, hmm, one, two, okay, what is that? And she was like, oh, nothing. I'm just gonna. And then like I was like, and the light went on. And I was yeah, like, you're just gonna what? And she went to moan. Yeah. Right. And it, oh no, it, nothing. She was like, oh, I'm. And then it was just done. And then she was, she put it back in a box, and she had like a box, like a. a oh box. yeah, buddy, they got. <laughs> It blew my mind. That's yeah. what I learned. Those, yeah, it, ripe age. She, if a girl tells you she doesn't have one, she's lying, man. And she tells you she has one, she's lying. I've got a backup too. Yo, audience question, Mike. <laughs> All right, this is coming from Jacob. He said he was on a date recently and it went really well, but he didn't know how to close and get her back to his place. He said that things kind of just ended, and he wanted to know what you guys thought was a good strategy. But how to transition back to your place or somewhere you guys can, you know, move things along, get physical. Want to get physical. And who's that from? Jacob? Jacob. Yeah, Jacob. J Email question. Jacob. Let's, let's hear it. Jacob. Oh, no, I just I appreciate Jacob you sending in your question and you, uh, you know, sharing your. I just want to address this. I think I've, I've interviewed someone last season who talked about. I don't think, just off, the, just for the record, I don't think that every date has to end with you getting physical. I don't think every date has to end with you at her house or her at you, or you at her house, her at your house. That's not true, Jacob. That's not true, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it takes a lot of, I think a lot of dudes think a successful date means I get some ass or it was an unsuccessful date. And I just, I just want to put it out there like, yo, relax sometimes. If you didn't get there, I mean, if you went out one, two times and you haven't got back to your place or she hasn't come, come you know what I mean? If someone hasn't come at someone's house and you guys have gone out once or twice, it's not the end of the world. Like, that's kind of the progression of people dating, you know what I mean? Um, if you've been dating for months and you've still not seen her place, it's probably because she lives with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> You're just that guy she likes to talk to. Yeah, you take her on nights dates and she enjoys long walks and her dude doesn't. So... She takes you. Yeah, you're um, the sensitive one. The one who's in touch with his feelings. Yeah, it's feminine side. So what would you tell him? How would you tell him to get out of that in touch? I mean, you know, that's something you talk about sometimes. Is stop being a friend. Is, is, sorry, say again? How does, you know, you talk about that sometimes. Stop being a friend. Like, in terms of, you don't have to be her best friend. You can be her lover and her friend, or whatever you want to call it, to quote a hip-hop song. Um, well, I think that's... That's the key to a successful relationship anyway, right? Is to be a friend. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, have that, that, sure. that, that friendship. Sure. Um, yeah. With, with regards to the, the scoring, I, I liked what you said about not having to force the issue all the time. You know what I mean? Like trying to get up there. Matter of fact, I know a lot of females that really appreciate when a dude doesn't try to, like, just get in right away. You know? They're like, oh, my God, he, you know, he really liked me. So that, that, that speaks volumes as well. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Sorry. I mean, I'll put it to you in terms of sports again, going to a, a football coach once said, when you score to the score a touchdown, it would say, uh, I don't want to see you celebrate. And I was like, well, you know, in my head, I'm like, well, why wouldn't you celebrate? You got to score. You got a touchdown. Like, that's a big deal. That's what we play the game for. And he said, you're supposed to act like you've been there before and you expect to be there again. Yeah. And that's why there's no need to make it a big deal. 
and I think it goes the same thing with the date. You want to act like you've been there before, like you've had sex with a woman before, like you've been there. So, you know what I mean? She'll understand. Oh my God, yeah. yeah. Whoa! How come I didn't get it? No! Like, it'll, you'll have a good chance, man. So, that's all we got time for. Write us another letter. We'll answer it some more. Video critique time. Oh, is this the, the guy? The oh. jewelry guy? Yeah. As you can see, I know nothing about jewelry, but I'm going to pretend to see if I can score some digits. I love these digital graphics. Do you like that piece? Uh, yeah. I actually know a little bit about that stuff. Have you ever, have you ever had any experience with these? Uh, bracelet? That, that bracelet in particular. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. I think so, but um, this particular model is a, a knockoff of one that's like a native Mozambique uh, bracelet. Do you work here? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just hitting on you. Oh. Yeah. Oh, those you shouldn't you shouldn't pick out either. A lot of this stuff is uh, slave labor kind of stuff, you know, those, those I'm people pouring over I'm pretty sure this is a local friends. farmer's market with local artisans. No. Well, okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm really saving you here. That one in particular, I wouldn't. Uh, that kind of fake silver has a lot of allergens in it. It can really make you break out in hives. Are, are you really trying to hit on me by talking about hives? Yeah, well, I'm trying to save you from hives. Ah, oh, so you're actually helping Really, me. so... You're not going to give me your phone number. I, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what was my favorite part? When they showed her face like this, and then they showed that guy in the crowd, the bald guy, who was like, this is, he was like, I can't believe this. I wonder, I wonder if they could see the cameras. That was interesting. Well, I, I think, what do you say? Don't pretend to know about something you have no idea. Why would you do that? It like that? Like, we talk about confidence all the time, and if you don't know what you're talking about, you can't. you're not gonna have confidence. Like, and she saw that. She's like, I see right through this guy's bullshit. So don't do it, man. You're just gonna look like an idiot. I think anytime you pretend to be something that you're not, at some point you have to stop pretending, right? And his pretend was clearly much quicker than he had anticipated. He told me it would last till he got the number, yeah. but it actually lasted half as long. He was talking about hives. Talk to us slaves too, I was really offended by that. Yeah, I would have probably hit him. Yeah, like if I was in the crowd, I'd have, I'd have got upset. Mm -hmm. Done like one of those like loud chants and then rushed him. <laughs> no, you wouldn't, you're too nice for that, Mark. Okay, I would have done a loud chant and then pushed you to rush him. <laughs> It sounds more like it. So be an expert in what you're an expert in. Now that goes with also one of those things where we talk about hang out in places that you know stuff or hang out in places that you're comfortable in so you know what to talk. If I'm a video game nerd, I should probably look to meet people at video game conferences or video game stores or comic books if I'm into comic books. Yeah. Go to a comic book store or be around those places because chances are if I meet a girl at a comic book store, I can be like, hey, did you see the new Dark Knight 17? Yeah. Or, you know what I just saw? It was the... Mike, do you know they call the people on with costumes on, fluffers or something? People who think Fl the fluffies. I don't know. I, I know fluffers to be something else. But what are they called? Furries. Furries. Fur. You don't know about furries? Oh, next video we're doing. I'm gonna show y'all about furries. So, do you know what furries are? No. no. So there's a whole. You know like, what fluffers are? Yeah, they're furries that are really fluffy, aren't they? <laughs> I had a fluffer at my old job, as Chocolate Thunder. Um, <laughs> <laughs> spit water. I'm gonna make you spit water one time. Um, so furries, what they are is, and this is this is stick to what you know. There's a bunch of people who love comic books so much, or love cartoony characters that they wear. You know the mascot? Yeah, yeah. They wear that, like the furry. They're like a little fox, or they're a bunny rabbit, and they go to these. They have dances. They have sporting events. They have dinners. They go on dates wearing the costume. They. Have, make, they're called furries? Yeah, they make love wearing the costume. Like, there was once on, on an episode of Entourage where, where uh, Johnny Drama had to go, and he had to go to this girl's house, and she only dated furries, and he wore a, a rabbit hat, and he's sexing her with his whole suit on, so you don't even see the person, but they live their life like that. So, like, so you're having sex with this person that you don't know how they look? You do know how they look. They look like a large furry animal. It's pretty basic. You see them. Like, I'm telling you. What I'm oh, saying no, no, is... no, but I mean the actual... <laughs> yeah. Like, yo, like... Like the mascot for the Raptors meets the mascot for, I don't know, 
somewhere else and they meet up and they're like, hey man, and they hold hands, they walk down the street like that. There's a whole community of people that do this. Like, it's not a little, it's huge. Where? I've never I, seen this. In before. LA, I mean, it's in warmer places, it's, you see it more outside because people aren't going to walk like that here, but it happens here too. Wow. Anyways, all I'm saying is, do what you know, because you'll always find people who love the same thing as you, even if it's furries. Guest interview. I'm that, not talking to him anymore. That just blew my mind. Man. Yo, you're, you're, Riley's going to be wearing a bunny suit. But uh, we'll talk about that later. Jordan! If it's requested, I might, I might do a thing, but I'm... <laughs> Gentlemen! What's up, Jordan? Sorry I'm late, I was picking up my rabbit costume. Yes! Yeah, there you go! There's See? wicked stain on there. Yo, do you know <laughs> furries? I do. You do, right? I See, do. It's, oh, it's, that, it's not a small thing. No, it's, it's a big thing. Yeah. It depends but, on the furry animal, but... Right, they're, right. Uh, they're... So, would you do it? Would you put on the rabbit costume and... Yeah, I think I would. Yeah. I don't know if I would go for dinner, but I would definitely. Uh, oh, I think that's very. That's very. Jackson was like, "Jackson was like, hey, I don't appreciate y'all okay, looking at hey. my animals trying to get my." Honestly, but why not? I mean, it's an experience, right? This, you know, what? Wants. open, yeah. open-mindedness will take you a long place. You only live once, right? Open-minded, that's it. Dress so up now, like a free animal. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do it tonight, man. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I want to see that after you streak. <laughs> Yo, you should streak. Out of the furry animal costume. Start in the furry animal costume yeah. and then just go? Yeah. Keep I'll, the head on. Oh, for sure, man. I right, can't down. Down. Yeah, like, ah. <laughs> So, Jordan, man, I, you know, every, I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, I'll refresh your memory. Uh, you, yeah, you did pretty well on Keys to the VIP. Oh. Um, you're, one, you're one of the people who was sitting up here that actually won. Yeah. And uh, you, you kind of crushed the competition. And you did it. Did, like, can you really win at Keys to the VIP? Isn't that kind of... <laughs> <laughs> you survived. Joking. It was you survived. Fun. survived. Right, but you did it with, I mean, you did it differently. A lot of guys are always, you know, about that Rico Suave cool. Yeah. You were kind of charming in a, in a, in a real non, you know, intrusive, funny way. Like, you were humor. Mm-hmm. You used a lot of your humor. Um, well, basically, when I, when I got the call to go and shoot that, I had no idea uh, what Keys of VIP was. I mean, I've never seen it, never heard of it. So I went online. And I was looking it up, and I was watching some clips, and I just thought, these guys are just, this is awful. Like, they're just <laughs> trying too hard, you know what I mean? Like, just, right. you know, they, they rub up against these girls the wrong way, literally, and it was right. like, and I said, I'm going to go in there, I'm going to do it completely different, I'm just going to go, use my humor, use some jokes, break the ice like that, and, and it worked, man, it seemed to work. Yeah. Well, I was going up against an underwear model. Work? Yeah. Did you, uh... Oh, do you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Eight Pack. That's right. And he said he wasn't going to use it. He and then he he pulled, that was, that's yeah. right. Oh, that's that was delicious. Yeah. I remember that. I was not. So what happened was the guy he said he went up against. He did his profile in this like you know in his. Mm-hmm. He's a, you know underwear model. He said he got an underwear model. But I don't tell girls that. I want to get to know them for their minds. It was his and crutch. And then the and then right. and then like the first scene he was like hey so uh, yeah uh, uh, hey girls and trying to just pose yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and he still man. beat him. He, he, yeah yo hands down him. Yo humor man. That's humor. Yeah. That's that's what I always say too, right? Easy way to break the ice, get a smile on there. Right. And I use different techniques. You know, I, I, I I'm sure you guys probably use this one too. The old, I almost wore that exact same outfit tonight, right? And it would have been just so awkward, both of us here with that on. But you pull it off. You pull it off way better than I could. I I, I generally don't wear the same outfit twice, so I don't usually have that problem. But I understand. Yeah. So, but how do you? Okay, because I think one of the things with humor, what we sometimes find is guys as we get they get stuck mm-hmm. in being having to be funny for the rest of the night yeah. and what you did very well was you went from humor opening to being just your charming self right like just being real convert conversing with a woman and well you, you've basically got like i guess a very small window to show a little bit of range right you know they don't want the guy who's just the creeper rico suave they don't want the guy who's just funny all the time they want a little bit of both they want to see you know, they want to know that you can make them laugh, but you're also going to be able to fend her off from the Rico Suaves yeah, and the you know right, I mean? so right. show a little bit of intellect. Yep. That's a big word. I just learned that <laughs> through the show. I think it's some oh, sort of redwood tree from California. I have no idea. I don't know, but... I don't. There yeah, you go. Um, so, yeah, and you just, you know. So, how do you deal with the girl who, um, what was your thing, you know, because I know on that show, it's a lot of club, club pickup. Mm-hmm. So it's loud. It's it's hard to hear. How do you deal with that while still trying to be funny? Like, cause you can't. That's, and that's a thing too, right? Because then you, you get the what? What did you say? And you're repeating a joke three times, and by the fourth time, you're, you're like, like, you just oh, yeah. 
And he's I like, said. I said I almost wore that same outfit. Fuck. <laughs> and then by that time, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, well. Not so charming anymore, yeah, are we? You're not coming to my furry party now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, big, rabbit, no, no yeah, rabbit hat for you. It was it was tough too because on that episode, I mean, they they told me I was gonna go to a club, right? So I dressed up. I had my nice pants on, and button up shirt, right? Looking good for a club right. in Toronto. But we shot at uh, I think it was my cottage in St. Catharines. So there, it was just college guys there, board shorts, flip flops, and wow. I walk in here. They probably thought I was co-owner of the club. Yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got buttons on his shirt, huh? More than three. <laughs> Something's going on here. Someone's getting picked up. Wow. So it was tough, you know, to overcome. Then right away, people are like, oh, so are you, are you the guy on that show? And I was like, no. Oh, when, when you got there? Oh, yeah. People Ooh. right away. Right. Wow. So did you hear what the guy said about you? Like, did you get to hear some of the critique or uh, uh, did you I, I, did I you just watch? saw it on the episode after, yeah. Right. He, and didn't, he, didn't seem too, he didn't seem too happy. And I ran into him, actually. Uh, I think it was at a hockey game or something downtown. Right. And he was just, you know, he said hello and he said... Oh yeah, how's it going, man? It's good seeing you again, but he just wasn't there. He was still, Bitter. he was still pissed. Yeah, wow. and I'm like, dude, honestly, oh, the dude like, yeah, he was still mad. He had a grudge, and I was like, yeah, you want to get a beer? He's like, no, thanks, man. I'm driving. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so game, it was just a TV show. Relax. Right. So how? Did, what did you think? Uh, I mean, you know, that show ran for a while, and it was pretty. You know, it was a pretty big show. And mm-hmm. do you feel like it did a service? Um, like, did it teach you? Was there any learning points that you were able to put across there? Or do you feel like you got anything? Or was it just strictly entertainment? Did it mimic real life? Was it just TV? Uh, I basically learned if you have an 8-pack, it doesn't matter. You you know, if you don't have the charm, girls aren't just going to want to sleep and hang out with your 8-pack. Right. Right? You're going to have something to talk to. You can't just be a dildo with a personality. <laughs> I heard you guys talking about sex, so that funny story. Actually, uh, this girl I was dating a while ago. We went shopping and went to the mall. We went into one of these shops. Right, I'm trying to spice it up, like you said. Not too spicy, because otherwise... It, it kicks back. It kicks back. Yeah, right, right. And I'm getting older, so... You gotta, got, you gotta got, pace yourself. I've got things in my pockets now, like Tums and pepto tablets for no reason, just in yeah. case. So we, yeah, exactly. So we're walking in, and, you know, she's... I'm like, well, if you want something, you know, I'll, I'll pick it up, and we can try it out. Let's, let's, let's live a little bit, right? So she goes up and starts asking the cashier about this red vibrator that was on the uh, on the display there and the guy's like listen I can't I'm not gonna sell you my fire extinguisher I need that so uh, that was a bad joke you wouldn't I, want to I'm, I'm gonna I was just thinking, thinking, I was just thinking yeah. damn I was more thinking damn what would the follow up be like like she used that then he's like alright why do you think I fell <laughs> you have to jump right in there and like, ah. <laughs> I had to go in there and I see my buddy Tom he's sitting there just look at this where you were pull the door it's wet in here and humid Little muggy. That's oh. terrible. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> did, you guys, did you guys get on me about the furries thing? Like, yeah, well, I mean, that was pretty But hilarious. um, did it mimic real life? I mean, like, was it I real? Because you know, a lot of people always watch like, TV and go, "Well, that's not what that's that's edited or yeah. whatever." Was it from what you saw versus your night? Like, how much was it like the night itself? Well, they show. I mean, basically, what happened on the on the show that you see is what happened. I right. mean, they have certain. People, I guess, that they have there were set up just to give you a hard time. I don't know if you ran into a couple of those on, on your episode. Yeah, people generally just give me a hard time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just weird. Yeah. You got to take that costume off once in a while. That's, right? that's the thing. Not everyone loves that big friendly raccoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, and you know, I would approach these people and you use a little bit of humor, you use a little bit of chivalry, mm-hmm. and it, they just weren't having it. And then I'm thinking to myself, I go, is something wrong with this girl? Or... Because I'm not doing anything to bring this on myself, right? And then I find out after the fact that they have these people there that they, they pay to, you know, if this guy comes up to you, give him a hard time. Do not give him your number or whatever you do. But I still cracked a couple smiles. Right. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Humor, I mean, you're, you're, you're naturally pretty funny. And it's something that, I guess, you know, comes to some people, it doesn't come to some others. Mm. How would you talk to somebody and tell them, like, someone who's not, who doesn't feel like they have that natural humor? How would you help them develop, you know, guys watching at home saying, hey man, you're funny, that's just what you do. How would you help him uh, be a little bit more um, free? Just, I guess, start, you know, maybe get a vodka soda in you to take the edge off. And, uh, well, <laughs> I was like, what kind of show is this over here? <laughs> like, that's um, a vodka soda right there. Yeah, but I mean, you can use things like make fun of yourself, you know what I mean? Um, girls like, I guess, when you don't take yourself too seriously. Right. I mean, who likes anyone who takes themselves seriously, right? Right. And uh, I've always had a, a motto where, you know, you're funny first, then offensive. 
to a certain extent. Can um, you explain that a little bit, please? I mean, how many times have you made a joke, you know, say it was not tasteful, and uh, people get, it's always, oh, oh, that's terrible. Right. That's terrible. <laughs> like, you know? So you still get that initial, initial laugh. But I mean, just, what's the worst that's going to happen? If you approach a girl, and, you know, you're polite, you're charming, you're not wearing your furry costume. I mean, what's the worst that she's gonna say is no, right? And then, right. In that case, you just move on. You don't have to be funny. You just have to. Don't take yourself too seriously. Right. Well, but you, sorry. No, you always stay within yourself, though, right, John? You're like you're always true to yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean. No, keep talking. Sorry, Jackson's no, trying to come over and tell you something. <laughs> See, I would if I had to compete with this guy, I would not. No, I think he would do well in the he club. He would do really well. Like, just, I think you want to do well in the club, get yourself, bring Jackson through, and just, just hold him up. Yeah, so what's up? Yeah, this is, and this he doesn't is. have to check a coat, so that's it's cheaper. Bomb. That way, look at that face. You good? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is, that's yeah. probably the best tool right there. Yeah, no, he would actually do real well. Oh, yeah. You ever do, um, you ever tell a dude to try that stand-up thing? Mm -hmm. have, you, have you ever done any stand-up? No, I have people come up to me and they tell me that I should do it, but I just, I, for me, it's kind of hard. If, I mean, when I go off with my humor, I usually, I just basically go off of what I'm seeing or what's happening, mm -hmm. you know, with like witty remarks. So for me to sit down and try to write something and I've thought about it though, but, um, well, I think that's a big thing. Even just telling, you know, we're talking to cats at home. It's like knowing that you are, you are, um, you're you have to be real observant. We talk yeah. about being aware, but being yeah. observant and humor does stem a lot from just what's going on around yeah. you. And if you're so in yourself that you're not taking in what's going on, it's hard to be funny because you're so nervous about what I'm going to say, what yeah. I'm going to do. And it's just like, so if we can let go, I mean, the vodka soda or just, you know, <laughs> yeah. play and let go or a little two. bit. Yeah. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. um, you're able to, to see what's really going on. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, from what I hear from people who do stand up, friends of mine, or you know, you hear these comics on the road, it's you have your good nights and then you have nights that aren't so good. And I, I guess it's kind of hypocritical for me to sit here and be like, yeah, just go. What's the worst that's, you know, what's the worst that a girl's gonna say? You know? And for me to say, I, I don't wanna do the stand up because I'm afraid of that, yeah. that flop night. You yeah. know? So I think I'm gonna have to start taking my own advice, like you guys are saying. Yeah, I mean, what's the worst that's gonna happen, right? They're right. gonna not laugh and make fun of me and probably throw. Vegetables at me. That's okay. You're a pretty big guy, so like, you step down up into the stage, into the crowd, and yeah. I'll but, take that. But that's my thing. I mean, I could. You could be a thousand people in the room. Nine hundred and ninety-nine of them are laughing. But if that one guy is just sitting there like this, I'm gonna get. You know, I'm gonna get thrown off. I mean, why is this guy not laughing? And then I'm gonna. It's it's gonna it's gonna bother me, right? Mm -hmm. But that's just. That's a big thing. I mean, you talk about even just with people like. Mm -hmm. 999 people are might be loving it and it's like a lot of times we talk about you know seeing the positive and it's That's just like well you got to be on that point where even with women it's like well if i speak to 10 women and you know 10 of them were receptive to me and cool and then that 11th one is like you're an idiot yeah, it's that one thing that you're going to We, that we one tend to look to hold on to that one that's like, man, you're an idiot as opposed to saying, yeah. oh, like. I had 10. Yeah, I had yeah 10. like it is what it is. Like, not everyone's going to like me. I, I was actually going to say that. I was like, you have 999 people saying, this guy is funny as shit. Yeah. But I, I wouldn't even see that one person. Right. You know? Uh, uh, maybe it's just me, but. No, that's not. We all yeah. have that. Like, we all have yeah. that in different stances, and that's a great point. It's like to be able to go, you know what? It is what it is. Like, there's that many people. Let's just move on and, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? See what's going on and, and see other things. Yeah. So, I guess if I had any advice, yeah, I don't know if you. Have yeah, I think you have some advice. You, some you, advice you won. Yeah. I lost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny because that's people still come up to me like, "Hey, man, you're that guy on the show." Like when I'm, you know, bartending or working at these bar mitzvahs, these little kids. Like, hey, you're from a case of VIP, and like you said, I'm like, I'm also an actor. Like I do things. You yeah, know? they're like, no. I'm a thespian. Yeah, they're like, mm. <laughs> I do theater, and they're like, I've never seen any of that stuff. Just. You're the guy who makes girls laugh. So do you give any of them? So you give them advice at all? That's, that's they what ask me make. all the time, and I tell them the same thing. I, yeah, just, just go and just do it. Just go up to them. Just say hi. That's that's all you need, right? Right. Hi, hello. So start it off. And that's start what it, it off. Nothing. What's the worst that's gonna happen? She's gonna say no. I'm, I'm gonna hold you to that. Start it off. Mm -hmm. and, Cause I look forward. I look forward to seeing you on stage. Man. Thanks yeah. for having me. Guys. Yeah, man. Thank you. I'll let you guys man. know. Yeah, when I'm doing my. Uh, if I ever do it. Yeah, you will. Stand up, man, amateur you know. now. Just All right. We're there for sure. Like you guys. We're bringing a camera. And if you fail, I'm putting it on YouTube. <laughs> See, that's that one guy I was talking about. <laughs>
Yo, it's it's so true. I mean, you said that that whole humor thing, and you know, just being real, being observant, being aware. Um, but it keeps coming up that principle of choosing the positive. Honestly. Yeah, 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 it keeps coming up. Like we gotta really hammer that into ourselves to just take that, you know, take the good vibe. Yeah, like things could get rough, but like there's there's always a brighter side to things. Right. Always. Right. You know, and when when you could start looking at that positive as opposed to the negative. Like things get so much easier, and things start working in your favor too, because, right? Because you're looking at the positives now. You know what I mean? Instead of start being attracting like, them. Oh man, I can't believe this girl didn't give me her number. And you have that one friend that you, you you forget to even acknowledge that might be giving you all the attention in the world, but she just might not be exactly what you're looking for, or that 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 ten out of ten. But you know she's right there, but she's still a dime. No, that yeah. makes a lot of sense. You know? So, how to? Now you know. We were talking about staying in shape and all this stuff uh, last week, and you know, one of the biggest questions that comes comes in all the time is, man, how do I stay motivated in the gym? How do I stick to my routine? How do I, you know, get that eight pack to go along with my charming? <laughs> might not necessarily. That, work, yeah, but... go along with my charming personality <laughs> and my human dildo steps. <laughs> my human uh, dildo man. ability. Um, hit us up, man. How to? You you're pretty regimented, and I'm gonna say it's one of the things that I. I actually revere about you is that you are uh, on point when it comes to sticking to your plan. And so I want you to share with us some of the things that you help that help you keep your eight pack. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I would say there's about like five things that I do. Okay. And one is uh, take starting stats from uh, where you're at currently. Mm -hmm. um, so you can track your progression and two is recording. Your progression. So when you're in the gym and you're out, you're on a bench and you're doing your two plates, you write that down. But you got to make sure the next week that you beat it, right? You always even if it's one more rep, if it's ten more pounds, like whatever it may be, you always want to beat what you did last week, mm -hmm. right? Um, three would always have weekly or regular check-ins. I don't like to check like uh, my body fat or anything like that every day, mm -hmm. but I think like every week is more of a attainable type of thing because you'll fluctuate up and down um, on a daily basis. Um, before and after picks, huge. Um, a lot of times the scale might not change, but y your look will. Right. You know what I mean? So um, I think before and after picks are a really good way to do that. And then um, the last one, number five, is reaffirm your trigger button or go back to what made you start working out in the first place, whether it be your trip to Cancun or, you know, your photo shoot or whatever it may be, like always reaffirm that, have it written down, like in your locker room, in your wallet, look at it whenever you get demotivated and then let it go. Nice. I think I left some of the printouts uh, off screen, so I'm going to have to leave you here to talk to the people for a moment. Okay, great. Thanks. Um, well, they can listen to me talk to Mike. Hey, Mike. <laughs> They're like, yo, is he really walking? Like, how did he just do that? <laughs> he left me all alone, so it's I'm going to talk. What are you going to do? No, I just edit this out. I'm going right. to talk to you right now. Just, just how we do on live TV, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, oh, and he's here he is. He's back. They're Ill like, prepared. yo, this ill-prepared. No, 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 just a printer printed over there, not over here. Like, right. Not my fault. Right. Um, what do you got? Online dating uh, teardown. Teardown. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um... I'm tired of reading the same things uh, from the online dating. Like uh, that that one note that we had a couple of weeks ago was kind of the solid one. Yeah. I keep getting the same thing over and over. So I just want to uh, go ahead. Oh no, one please finish. I just want to reiterate what a, a good response. That's what I was going to ask you to do. Yeah, yeah. So we can just go through that. Party on. All right, man. So we talk about awareness. We talk about being aware and listening, uh, observing, seeing what's going on with you. So if you're reading a woman's profile or her page, a lot of people are also, uh, side note, using Facebook nowadays as a pickup place. Like, um, I just want to say that's not what it was created for. Like, just because I'm on Facebook doesn't mean, as a woman, I'm looking for dates. Man. Uh, we're going to have some women come in here and talk about that at another time. But if you're... A woman? Yes. No, no. I got excited, yo. Yeah. I'm gonna put her over here. Like, Jordan's a cool dude, but I'd like you know. Since you out there, like, cool. <laughs> yeah, it was like Jackson out here. <laughs> um, so guys, if you're looking at an online profile and uh, you you're there to meet a girl, you're writing, responding to her page, just like in real life, she wants to know that you've been listening to her. Now, listening in the online world means you've been reading her page, so she wants to make sure that you've read her profile. So maybe refer to some of the things from her profile 
in your response. Like we talked about that time where there was the book. Right. He made a reference to the, the, the soccer player, made reference to fitness. Yeah, the personal trainer. Yeah, right. So it's like you can make, it doesn't have to be blatant, mm -hmm. but subtle things. Yep. If she says she likes running on the beach, you can mention the time that you ran on the beach while you were in another country, for instance. Or I mean, it's simple, but it's not, but you, you smile. It's it blows my mind. These like these high smiley faces. Yeah, yeah. Mike, stop sending high smiley faces. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I also am mad because I think some people are starting to figure out who my profile is. Yeah, I have to change it. Um, the notes are. The other thing is is going to guys' profiles, gentlemen. On your profile, uh, you don't have to have like fifty pictures that show me and your mom and, and your best friend and all five of you drunk and all five of you passed out together on a couch and then all five of you waking up together on that same couch with less clothes on and then all five, like, if I'm a girl I don't need to see all that, I don't want to know all that about you. I mean, you know what I mean, one or two photos of you smiling, maybe a body shot so she can see that you're in somewhat <laughs> shape that take you say you are. Yep. Yeah, you take it, I mean, you don't got to have an eight pack, as we heard, it doesn't like, work. Like, like Sparks used to do, you know, just show everything. But. Anyway, continue. I was never on an online dating site. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, social networks? Don't even believe in them. Okay. What's what social network? Hey, Mike, what's up? You good, man? I'm good. <laughs> you're right. Why is he not answering me? So, uh, yeah, so we want to make sure, guys, uh, your profile, make sure you put in a picture that shows who you are. It doesn't have to be. Now, one of the things, actually, if you want to have a lot of fun, is you put a wild picture up there. It'll get someone's attention. So if you put like a pirate patch on and a pirate hat and you're smiling, That'll get someone's attention, but you have to be able to, to write about why you have a pirate hat on. The story, the story behind the picture. If you don't have a story, then don't put up that picture. Otherwise, keep it simple. Yeah. Um, but if you're going to reply, just like in real life, people want to know that you're listening. So please stop sending. Nobody is good looking. And I'm just going to put this out there. None of y'all, none of us, guys, none of us are good, good looking enough to send a hi and a phone number and expect the girl to call you. Don't believe it. It doesn't happen. It happens in the movies because that's what movies. Sometimes. <laughs> Correction, sorry. It's only once, only once, only once, only once. The rest of us. <laughs> I was tired. The rest of us regular people <laughs> don't have the ability to leave. Just stop. Stop putting a smiley face. Hi, call me. You're pretty. Hi. She knows she's pretty. She's heard I'm pretty. Here's my number. So other than if you're not Ronnie and you're not using his photo, that's what's going to happen. I just cracked the code. <laughs> Guys, I'm just going to start. You, you know what? Forget everything I said. If you want to get girls to get back at you online, <laughs> get Ronnie Rose's photo, <laughs> put it on your page. Oh, and, but seriously, yeah, so if you're listening, if you're responding, mm -hmm. the next response I read, gentlemen, I want it to be one that had some thought into it, okay? Some love. Put something in there that says you read my profile. Love takes time, people. Love takes time. All right, some like. Some like at least. Okay, sorry. Like takes time. Uh, bucket list. Mike! Military Mike. Oh yeah, bucket list. What's your bucket list? Uh, we should ask Jordan. I bet that would have been a crazy bucket list. I I don't even want to know what he Let's would have said. Him. Let's ask him. Are he is he still around? He's still around. Hey Jordan. Yep yep yep. Oh, see he's out walking in here. Get in here, man. Yo, gentlemen. It's the sequel. <laughs> Yo, yeah. So we do this thing every week where we, uh, you know, because you watch the show, right? Yep. Right. So. Uh, um, Bucket list. We have thing one thing in life that you want to do, and each week we come with something. And Mike is pretty militaristic with his stuff, and Ronnie likes to fly out of stuff. So hold on, what was what was yours last week? I'm not talking right now. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I was just talking about this the other day. Actually, I would love to uh, skydive. What? Well, you can join <laughs> yeah. Ronnie. Yeah. Yeah. Minds think alike. That's right? what I, I wanted. Yeah. Ronnie, we're gonna film him skydiving, and then he's gonna jump out of a plane without a parachute, with just a parasail and a board, and oh. land on water. Well, or you know what? I forget what it's called. These guys have the uh, those sugar glider suits on. Have you what? seen that? Sugar glider? The sugar, like you know those flying squirrels. Oh yeah, and they, like they have like and little they, wings. And yeah, stuff and like they that? run yeah. off of cliffs and they basically glide down and they're coming within like. It was in um, Transformers. Yeah, yeah. Um, that yeah, you just put on this huge condom what do you call it? and you sugar? jump. Sugar gliders, isn't that what they're called? No, the you're right. I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought you were talking about sugar daddies. <laughs> I want to be a sugar daddy one day. But no, no, that, I'll Don't do that too. Don't have diabetes. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. That's a bad sugar joke. Can we edit that out, Mike? <laughs> Live. Hey, there is no editing. Yeah. Oh, well. 
That's when you just go like this, Ronnie. Yeah, Ronnie. I, do, I do that all the time. I gotta get a picture of you before I go, actually, so I can use it for my. Yeah. Got you. Sure. At least they send the number, and it's not just a question mark. That would be pretty cocky. Just send a girl a question mark. We should try that. I think you could pull it off. Let's give it a try. You know what? Just I know. question mark. Like, and if she sends back an exclamation point, I, that's pulling. talking right there. That's communicating. Period. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just get to the Period. point, right? Oh yeah. I'm not inflating him anymore. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you need a bigger set soon. Right? I just, you, won't be, you won't need the parachute to skydive, speaking of which. What's your bucket list for this week? Mike thinks he got out of it, but he's still in. Um, a, another kind of aerial thing. I, I want to cliff jump into water. Oh, yeah. So, so, like, yeah, you know, like, probably, like, 10 feet? Yeah. And just jump right into, like, some... Make sure you wear some shoes. Like water shoes or... Boots. Yeah. No, I'm serious. I you know you are. kid at the bottom of your feet. Oh man. I'm gonna pair. I'm gonna jump off and sail. So you can come to Costa Rica with me. You can just jump off that cliff right there and just land in the water if you want. Okay, I'll try that. Cause I'll just keep going. I'm gonna sail. And then I will streak. <laughs> no, no, you're streaking in Vegas with a bunny suit on. I'll do that for sure. <laughs> I kind of want to put that on my bucket list actually See? now. I'm streaking in Vegas. Furry party. I, I, I'll, I'll do I, it. Yeah. Yeah, well, for sure. I'll come. I'll videotape. I'm in. Hmm. Do we need like a, a wrangler, a furry wrangler, or no? You mean someone to, to round up all the just, furries? Yeah. Before or after <laughs> the party? <laughs> I'm just, I don't know how it works. I've never been to one, but. <laughs> you don't need a wrangler. You just need to put out a, a text. Just a text? Just yeah, a question yeah. mark? Yeah. <laughs> Exclamation. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, the nice. bucket list is all right. Yeah, the bucket list is growing. Mike, you got anything this week? I got one. What's um. Apple Computers is uh, is building this giant spaceship type building in Cupertino for the new employees. It holds thousands of people. It looks amazing, and uh, I'd like to visit that. Like, it's a spaceship <sighs> building. Yes, it's a building that looks like a spaceship. It's like a giant circle. But it's oh. like they pump space air in there. No, no, it's just an office building. Really? But it's like the most advanced office building structure in the entire universe. It's called I, I Office. It's spectacular. <laughs> I love how they built that after Steve left. Yeah, honestly. That's hey, kind of crazy. And this was, when's that supposed to be ready? Just out of curiosity, I don't even know. It, it's a few years away still, but you know, Steve pitched it to the, uh, to the board or to the city council and they approved it. So it's, they're going to start building it. It's got solar panels on the roof and it's pretty spectacular. I've got to read about this place. Yeah, you gotta that's, check it out. that's pretty very, dope. Very cool. Pursuit or retreats? Yes. You got a winner this week? Yeah, we got a winner. I mean, I, you know, everybody kind of felt the same way that you yeah. guys did. I think it's generally one of those things where the feedback seems like, you know, if, you, if you're if you interested in doing something like that, you got to approach your boy about it. you got to have that conversation. you got to right. see if that's okay. Uh, if it's fresh, then you definitely don't want to go near there. Right. The general consensus is retreat. Good. I appreciate that. I appreciate the so moral. That was the ex hooking up with the ex? Yeah, it's your boy's, your boy's ex. It's all. Okay. What do you got? Well, we, thinking... we, we, we tied for that. Ties aren't wins. I mean, I would normally agree, but um, it depends, I think, on the breakout. I mean, did she break your friend's heart? You want to get back at her? You want to help your friend get back at her? Oh, man. I'm, just, I'm sorry. I took it to a different this level. This guy just like went a, like, 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 yo, yeah, like, this is too I, easy. I, I, I didn't go that deep with it. I this, guy, like, this guy's like, yo, what? She what did you? Yeah. No, I got this. It's like, oh, I'm, oh yeah. I got this. But I think it depends. But normally, I would say... As soon as your, your your friend introduces you to his girlfriend, she's off the list. Yeah. Right. That's I like yeah. That. I like that rule. Jordan, you're, you're However, your comic side has has, has shown see? the darkness inside of you. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yes, bite him. Bite him for darkness. Um, yeah, it depends. I mean, if 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 she really hurt my my friend and, you know, you date her for revenge. I would. Oh, man. And I, I would fill him in. Team, I would fill him in on everything that's happening. <laughs> I, I, and I would mess with her psychological too. Oh my god. I'd find out her likes, crush, her crush. dislikes. This guy went like Sputnik, like he went Russian spy on, spy on her likes and dislikes, her weaknesses, yep. and then crush her. Steal her cell phone one night. Wow. No, don't do that. I'm just joking. <laughs> Who put this raisin, this raisin bag on my phone? Yo, we're, <laughs> yo we're going to put a disclaimer on this guy. Oh, man, we better say goodbye before he drops like what he really does. Yeah. yeah. You guys don't want to hear what um, January 18th. Yes. Yeah. I have to do the math. <laughs> Five plus two minus one plus two minus three. Share the one to the plus square one. root of five. Yeah, eleven plus two. Gotcha. Minus six. There plus five go. plus two. Guys, we'll see you January eighteenth, uh, Wednesday for the next men's room live. Um, Ronnie's all excited. We have a female coming. Oh, we have a beautiful lady. Am I back that day? I'm not. <laughs>
<laughs> you're <See? back> <laughs> Jordan's with me, man. I'm telling you. Great mind. Great There's still room if she wants to come down. Yeah, like, look at that. Where is she? <laughs> right? Where oh, okay. Mike, what are you? <laughs> As long as I got a face, you got a place to sit. I'm just, oh, that was oh, terrible. Wow. Can't sit. Can I say that? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Adam, <laughs> yeah, this is live. There's no <laughs> editing. Oh, hey, oh. Like, it's like Where's gravity. that spaceship, Mike? I think I, you know, one way ticket. <laughs> Comments, questions, or if you'd like to talk to Jordan, uh, live at mensroom.tv, at mensroom on Twitter, really? at mensroom TV on Twitter, Ronnie Rowe Jr., uh, at Mark Sparks Inc., um, at Face is free on Twitter to my left. <laughs> I sit on it or sorry, I don't even Whatever know. Whatever you need to do. Uh, please keep the comments coming, guys. They're amazing. We appreciate it. Keep the questions, keep the questions coming. Uh, if you have any segment ideas, something you'd like to see, make sure you send those in too and we'll make it happen. Uh, send in your bucket list. We'd love to read it and maybe we can uh, compare it and even throw it out on the show because I'd like to hear what some of the cats at home are saying. That's all I got to say. Gentlemen, you want to say stuff to the people at home? <laughs>